Hi guys, so I had some questions on how to do the embossed fill that I shared in the um, Stitch Artist group earlier. So I just wanted to make a quick video on how I did that. Um, so I basically have the full and brilliant suite um, with uh, Essentials, Enthusiast, um, and up to Stitch Artist level three. So please note that this is only available in level three. So if you don't see it on your screen, that's why. Um, so I'm going to start off by clicking on my digitizing tab and I'm going to import my vector image, which is just an SVG. You can also draw an image if you want, but this is what I worked with earlier. So it'll just be easy for me to work with. Um, I'm going to resize this just a little bit so you can see the detail. And I am going to go ahead and just click my fill button. And it's totally filled, just a regular fill stitch. Now, if I go into the fill stitch properties that are over here on the right hand side, click on fill. We are going to go to this um, second tab basically at the top and click on that. And down here where it says add, go ahead and click on that. And under here, you'll see you have four options. You have font bold, geometric, shapes, and a regular font. So what I did is I just chose font. And our mascot for the Liberty Lightning um, are the bolts. So I just did bolts. So if we add a B and hit OK, you can already see that there is a B in there. But I want to type out a full word. So the good thing is, is that you can use more than one motif basically for your embossing pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and spell out the rest of my word here. And now we see that we have the word bolts in there completely. Now you can adjust your inclinations on this to make it easier to read. Uh, you can choose to um, offset your lines. If you click this, this uh, row over here, it'll offset the row so not everything is straight. So and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So now that you can see that the words are in there. Um, I still haven't figured out how to make the S a little bit bigger or have the um, O be the same size as the L and the T. So there's a couple of quirks that I'm going to try to work out, uh, but there's a lot of different things that you can play with in here, uh, such as the rotation of the letters, um, the scale, pretty much everything you can adjust in here, which is pretty super cool. I've had this software since it came out and I just figured out today after seeing another video that I can do this. So I'm pretty pumped and hopefully it'll take my designs to the next level.